Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between John Cochrane and Howard Staunton. This amazing game was played in London in 1842. Cochrane had white pieces and he started with e4. Staunton played e5, knight to f3, attacking the pawn on e5, black to move. Staunton played d5. What is this? Is this a giraffe gambit? No, no, no. This is the elephant gambit. Why to move? Which pawn would you take? Well, both captures are okay for white. It depends on your taste. Cochrane played knight takes on e5. Queen to e7. d4. f6. Attacking the knight. Why to move? Perhaps knight to d3 was expected. But there was a big surprise. Knight to c3 was played. This looks like a blunder, doesn't it? Pawn takes knight, what else? Knight takes on d5, attacking the queen, queen to f7. Well, queen to e6 would be hilarious because of knight takes on c7. Check the family fork. Queen to f7. Bishop to c4, threatening some nasty discovery attack on the black queen. Bishop to e6. Castling c6, attacking the pinned piece. Why to move? How would you continue? Perhaps knight to c7 was expected, but there was another surprise. A bigger surprise than the first surprise. f4. Let's take it back. This looks very natural. Knight to c7, then black would probably take the knight, and then bishop would take the bishop, and after knight to f6, Black seems to be okay. Back to our game. Like I said, there was a big surprise. F4. What a move. White is sacrificing the second piece. At this point, observers were whispering among themselves that Cochrane had whiskey for breakfast. C takes on D5. F takes on E5. Attacking the queen. Queen to D7. What else? Well, d takes on c4 was possible, but then rook takes queen, and this was not to Staunton's liking. So he naturally saved the queen. e takes on d5, bishop takes on d5, it is white to move, and this is the critical moment of the game. Staunton was counting on bishop takes bishop on d5, when black is okay. Okay, let's put the moves on the board. Bishop takes on d5, queen takes on d5. Black is better. Back to our game. In this position, Cochrane threw a spinner in the works with e6. This is a move that Staunton missed. Queen to c6 was played, what else? If bishop takes on e6, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, rook to e1, pinning and winning. And what tells if queen takes on e6, rook to e1, pinning and winning. Back to our game, queen to c6 was played. Why to move? How would you continue now? Cochrane played queen to h5, check. g6, queen takes on d5. Knight to e7. Well, trading the queen's fibers. White. Knight to e7 attacking the queen. White to move. How would you continue now? Well, uh, this move doesn't work, does it? Because knight takes on d5. So, queen to e5, giving up the bishop for the rook. Queen takes bishop, queen takes rook. Threatening, queen takes bishop on f8. Knight to f5. Bishop to h6. Queen to b4, defending the bishop on f8. White to move. How would you continue now? There is a forced win for white. Can you see the win? Well, e7 is also winning. Queen takes bishop check. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes queen. King takes bishop, 
White play the move and Black resigned and the move is G4 attacking the pin knight Staunton resigned. What an amazing game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.